Hello folks and welcome. So I have a new video for you on uh, Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Um, some folks won't click on the older video so I thought I'd rehash this for custom keyboard shortcuts. The system already has some uh, pre-assigned and don't get those conflicting with custom. But anyways I'm going to talk about custom keyboard shortcuts today. So welcome folks. Filming in 1920 by 1080 you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly. You are watching this on Linux for Seniors. This is just a watermark. There should be an icon in the corner you can click on if you'd like to subscribe. If you don't see that icon, go find me on YouTube. 300 videos and growing. Now I'm going to press Ctrl and F1 to show you the common shortcuts that Linux Mint has assigned to you. And please remember this when you're trying to do custom keyboard shortcuts. Um, you're not going to be able to assign Ctrl C to something else. Okay, these are pretty much pre-assigned. Like Control C is copy, Control V is paste. These are actually very universal, including with uh, Microsoft Windows also. There is uh, also Control H, which is show your hidden files and folders in your file manager. So again, these are pre-assigned. Now I'm gonna right click on the panel, system settings, and scroll down to keyboard. Center tab, shortcuts, and I'll talk about a couple of these. Every one of these that are in this menu has three spots. So like the logout has control, alt and delete and two more open. The shutdown I'm gonna, I'm gonna concentrate on. It's a favorite with a lot of folks. Control, alt and delete. I'm gonna press those three keys just to give you an example of that. Control, alt and end I should say, not delete. Control, alt, delete will do a logout. Control, alt and delete, logout. This was Control Alt and End, not to get that confused. It's the same thing as me clicking this icon. Okay. However, I got one more spot assigned, and if I click that and click it again, it says pick an accelerator. In other words, pick a key that's not in use on your system, or a combination of. So I'm gonna, I have one in mind, F12. So I'm going to assign it, and I'm going to test it right away. F12 it is. That's already assigned. I'm going to open this up a little bit and go to screenshots. This is very common and a common request that some uh, folks will ask about. How do I assign a key on my keyboard to a screenshot if I don't have a print key? You can see it's already got assigned that. Or alt print. Well, if I don't have a print key, we need to assign something. So I will use the F12 again and it's going to complain that it's already assigned to shutdown. That's okay, we can override it. F12 it is. Okay, and I can do the same thing with the window. I'll override it again with F12 and answer the question yes. F12 now does a window screenshot. So it's all your choice. And I'll go back in here and assign that back to F12. All right, so I get this dilemma here. I like to use F12 to shut down my system, but I also like to use F12 for screenshots. So how do I get around that issue? Well, let's first assign the shutdown to F12. All right, and test it when you get done with this also. So F12 does do the shutdown. So I'm gonna to go to screenshots and I'm just gonna use the full. And to get around that issue, since I still wanna use F12, I use Control and F12. Because you can do three, two or three different key combinations or a single. So now I can get around this by doing Control F12 does the screenshot and regular F12 does the shutdown. There are three spots and some of these are not assigned in some categories. A very common one you've heard me mention if you watched any of my videos is Alt and F4 on any Linux distribution. That's how you close a window. On a, uh, I think it's Windows 11 if you use Alt and F4 with no windows open so it actually gives you a shutdown screen. If you are a dual booter with Windows 11, you may want to try that. Anyways, Alt and F4 closes Windows in Linux. In my next video, I'm going to talk about keyboard layouts where you can have a color of a flag on your desktop and assign different uh, keyboard layouts for different countries. So stay tuned for that for shorts. Thank you for watching.